This is continuation of a subconscious programming video number one. So what is important is that every time you meet somebody for the first time, you're actually checking out the level and the quality of the energy. And once you learn to see everything through the energy, frequency and vibration, everything in life will be so clear to you. All our atoms are made of them. They vibrate, they come and go at the speed of light, and that's approximately around 300,000 times per second. But since we use our eyes as one of our senses, and none of our senses are accurate besides the sixth sense, by the way, that these eyes are not capable of showing what's really happening in reality. Because even if you have a perfect vision 2020, you can recognize only maybe 20 to 24 frames per second. And then compare that with the speed of light, these 300,000 per second. 20 by 300,000 doesn't make sense. And it's always, I always like to mention this to remind you that every TV, television, has a minimum of 64 frames per second. And not all of these frames are always empty. And not all of them only have Pepsi, Coca Cola, or toothpaste in them as an advertisement. You might actually get some other information that serves to you straight to your subconscious level. Because everything that's faster than 50 milliseconds, it's melting in your eyes and goes straight into your subconscious level without us even being aware of it. You're basically getting all the information all day long without even knowing it on a conscious level. Here's a sample how slow our eyes are. Take, for example, street lights with an AC current of 120 volts. Our eyes register the light as it is always on like is this, if it is constant power, because we do not have capacity to register how fast its frequency is. But we all know on a cognitive level, then in one second, power goes through 100 to 120 dots where the power is zero volt. We cannot really catch the speed to register what is actually happening when it's coming and going. For us, it's a constant light. Also, just to mention, and this just crossed my mind, besides the subconscious programming, we have a super programming. That is when you go to a store and then they play like a French music and you intuitively buy the French wine. Or when they change and switch it to Italian music, then you buy Italian wine. Without being aware that actually the music is used as a stimulus for sales for specific product but you can actually hear the music on a conscious level through our senses. But we are conditioned not to pay too much attention to the details. It's all about programming. Well, here's an example. People who were exposed to subliminal words and pictures of the death crimes, they became more nationalistic, more patriotic, less forgiving, and less liking the foreigners and so on. Those are the things that we're not even aware of how we think, but we carry these thoughts about things that we have not even, just the things that have been served to us that we are not even aware on a conscious level. People have no clue they're actually carrying a strong feelings about different things on a subconscious level. But then again, I went off the subject. But we are, what we are talking is how we absorb and take information through our eyes. A fact is that our perception is never, ever just a direct registration of the outside world. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Perception is never just a direct registration of the outside world. It's always and always an act of the individual interpretation, like everything else in life, especially in psychology and our belief system. Even though we can see a whole thing, we cannot process things fully from the outside into the back surface of the eye, where the transduction from the photons from the light energy is transformed into the signals to the nervous system, which basically takes place in retina. Because the front eye, where we have the most of the optical system, at the front of the surface, it's called cornea, it's like lens focusing light, which basically creates and forms an image to the back surface of the eye. It's like a anterior segment of the eye where forms an image like camera. But just to simplify this, we basically have about 100 million photoreceptors in our retina. Photoreceptors are the smallest cells that convert light energy into the signals into nervous system and their transduction element. But we only have one quarter of a million to a million axons. 
Those are nerve fibers who are running from the eye to the brain. So the whole information is shrinked down big time. They call this a bottleneck effect of attention. You cannot treat each photoreceptor as a pixel with a private line to the brain since they lose resolution in periphery. Visual cortex has so much information to handle. And some of that information is a process like recognition and then perception. But the job of perception of a current understanding of the world is a result of many conditioning that specify exactly what is going on in the world. And our world is basically in 3D, but our input is only 2D, since retina is through two-dimensional surface. So we are basically placing all of the energy from 3D dimension into 2D. Don't you love your body? I mean, it's a, such a powerful machine, especially if you expose it to methodologies I plan to share with you to enhance your power, because if driven by balanced minds, your body can expand to be a miracle hub that produces a great energy vibration that can transform you and all the people around you. And I'm doing all of this for free, just so I can remind you how powerful you are and to return the power to the individual where it belongs. All right, let's extend this information in the following video uh, that's going to be called Subconscious Programming Number 3.